two. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's all happening. It's all happening. Michael Jackson. Toward with Britney Spears, where you learn what I wanna, what I wanna do. A girl like you got the seven digits, got the area code too. Heated it up with '98, did the all that music and more. And never felt the rain. back to the top in the street, I'm like, no more pop music, but a whole lot of talk. I'm along for the ride, going straight to the top. Tell me back in there, stress the bad boys of pop. Bad yeah, boys of pop. Ha ha. There's the crowd. There they are. Thank oh, you guys. Thank you so much. Guys, thank you so much. Okay, keep it tough. Now, easy babies. Easy. easy there. Oh, okay. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Bad Boys of Pop. Welcome. Welcome. I am, uh, I'm Tommy Mack. And I'm Eric Stretch. Hey, Eric. How are you? Hey, Tommy. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. I know. It's been, what, three weeks that we haven't seen each other? Is that two weeks? No, I think it's only been a couple, but it, it feels like longer. It feels like forever. And it does. It does. And I was, I was <sighs> talking with you earlier this morning. Um, I was telling you I was really sore because I finally worked out hard this weekend. <laughs> I just came from a four <clears throat> mile run and my feet still stink. Woo-hoo! Your feet yeah. still stink. Uh-huh. If you guys didn't listen through to the end of the last episode. <laughs> I didn't think that. I thought we were done recording. <laughs> On the way out, Eric, during the song, during the song oh. at the end, Eric's like, my feet stink. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought that was, I thought that oh, was good. It was great. <laughs> hey, viewers, um, welcome to Have You Heard the News? In the form of seven, seven questions. Seven questions. Seven, seven questions, questions to share. you win. <laughs> I can't. It's so hard to do it on time. I know. And then I, I, and I even sang the wrong lyric just, to, just well, for added measure. <clears> yeah. <throat> uh, for, all that you guys, for everybody who is joining us, that we are social distancing. Um, actually, we used to be 33 miles away from each other now. 33.4. 33.4 miles away from each other. Now I think we're about <clears throat> what eighty miles away from each other. One eighty. <clears throat> I don't know how far is Palm Springs. I don't know. I'm in Palm Springs, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, a, a lot, a lot. You're a lot further away. I'm a lot further away. <clears throat> but we have, and if you don't remember, last time Tommy wrote the questions. I did. Oh yes, and I got a hundred percent correct. You yes, won. I did. Shut up! I did. I did. <laughs> well, okay. Well, we'll we'll go with that lie. Okay, good. Thank you. Wait, was that the one that you t- you took the second time? Shut up. Shh, shh. Two audience. Mm. <laughs> we then we then put up the original episode, the one that wasn't live, and um, and if you haven't heard that, go listen because you can hear you can hear his improvement. No, don't, don't, don't. I'm not. Don't, okay, yeah, sure. By the way, er- Eric, um, after you got back from working out, did you put on this week's clothes? <laughs> um. I, <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> I can't believe you asked me that because I'm not wearing pants. Oh, all right. I s- well, this is gonna be that kind of party. Huh? <laughs> okay. No, I have a towel. I have a towel on because no, I have I've swimming. I have a swimming swimming suit on because uh, <clears throat> I've been jumping in the pool after working out and just running and jumping in the pool and it's lovely, refreshing. So then I put on my towel and now I'm talking to you. So I I'm, don't have clothes on, but I have clothes on. I am appropriate, but not appropriate <clears throat> for business. I'm, I'm party casual, not business casual. You're like, you're like the full body version of a mullet. <laughs> I'm, I'm Donald, I'm Donald ducking it right now. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, anyways. Oh wait, you guys, Tommy. Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. For seven questions. I'm ready for seven questions. Okay. I can't hear the sound effects, so you let me know when okay. to go. Question number one. Question number one. One, one. All right. What is the show biz name of the main character of the massive worldwide phenomenon reality series show on Netflix, Tiger King? Ah, uh, I... You know, I just watched this. Oh come I just, on! I just started watching this last night, actually. See, I didn't. I didn't go with the obvious. What's like the big, the biggest reality show phenomenon right now? Because everybody's talking about Tiger King. Because I want it to be even more tricky. So, what's the what's his name? What's the main character's name? Um, it's come on. Oh crap! All right. So, what kind of animals does he have? He has lots of. He, he has tigers. Yeah, but what what they're also kind of you know if you put them in a whole group they're like exotic. 
right? Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> Joe Exotic. Yes, correct. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. I, I, I knew it was something fancy. Yeah. Uh, so you're just now watching it? That's quite the last name, isn't it? Isn't it right? Yeah. Are you, um, oh, you only seen the first episode? Uh, yeah, I think I started the second one. Oh, well, the second one, you think you, you think you know what the show's about, and then the second episode comes on, and you're like, are you ki-? Listen, I mean, I, I thought the show was incredible. I really, really did. Yeah, uh, but yeah it's, it's fascinating. It's fascinating. I can't, yeah. Angel- so Angelica like, doesn't want to watch it because she, she listened to a podcast uh, a couple of years back about it and just said the people really rubbed her the wrong way. So. Oh, oh, they're... It, it, yeah, we're not laughing with them. Let's just say that. Uh, okay, well, and it's funny. Like I, I look at I look at the main character Joe Exotic, and I, in my mind, I feel like I've I've known someone like him in my life. That's America, that's America. America. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I, I have an idea of what it's what's going to happen just because I've heard. No, I don't know. <clears throat> No, I don't. I don't. I have no idea. Okay. I don't know if you do. I don't know if you do. Uh, that's what makes it so. I think that's why everybody's so obsessed with the show. Because it, uh, it, it, it whips it out on you like, hey. You think it's one thing and it turns into be something else. And you're like, oh, whoa. All right. Um, I, hate but, wh- I hate when that happens. Like <clears throat> if I've got like a, um, a big glass of m- milk. Or, oh, or, sure. Or, 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 sure. Like, or like, you're like, Netflixing and chilling with a glass of milk. No, no, no. Like if you have... Let's say like somebody has like a a, a a big cold delicious beverage, uh-huh. and you think it's one thing, but then you take a big gulp, and then it's something. Oh really yeah, like, I hate that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With TV shows, I guess, is different. It's exciting, uh-huh. but right. with beverages, it's well, a friend of mine when I was growing up. My friend David Ramirez, he was from Spain, and he his his mom made gazpacho. Uh huh. There's mm-hmm. a big jar of gazpacho, like. In the refrigerator, it looked like just a delicious, sweet, fruity, tropical beverage. And he's like, he's and like, he's like, Tommy, man, here, take a big, take a big gulp. And we had been playing soccer outside, and so I take a big old gulp of this thing, and I'm like, Ugh! because it's savory. It's a savory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I like so it. You're saying that you think Tiger King is like a gazpacho. Tiger King is like. Um, <laughs> you think it's one thing, and it's, it's like else. gazpacho. When you, th- if, if you thought that it was a fruits, like some kind of s- smoothie, yeah. Okay, great. Oh well, mm-hmm. congratulations on getting question one correct. <laughs> yeah, thanks. There's the applause. Oh, Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Shh, quiet. <laughs> okay, they they hushed. Okay. I shot one of them. Oh, good. Um, Don't worry, it's just digital. Okay, go now. Push the other thing so I can do question two. Okay, here we go. Question number two. Question number two, 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 two. What former female talk show host rebooted her show for one night only, virtually, and raised over $500,000 for the Actors Fund? Uh, Okay, she's a former female? Talk show host. Okay, so it's... And I have a hint. It's a female that's a former talk show host. (laughs) Uh, oh, you have a hint? Uh-huh. Sweet. Bring it on. Our president uh-huh. hates her. I... Um, okay, my first inclination would be Oprah, but... Has publicly shamed her in, during the debates, the 2016 debates. I'm going to say Rosie O'Donnell. Correct! Yeah! Since since Broadway is my thing, I guess. Um, yeah, so uh, <laughs> you, Rosie O'Donnell. You are I, Eric Broadway. Uh, no, please. Oh, no, I don't. I don't deserve that. <laughs> um, uh, she Rosie O'Donnell is obsessed with Broadway, so she had all uh, her favorite Broadway stars go on and sing um, songs of their choice for the audience, and uh, yeah, it ended up. Raising over half a million dollars for the Actors Fund, which is great because so many people, because actors are like, you know, we're all out of work during this time. So the Actors Fund is an amazing, amazing organization. If you want to give to the Actors Fund, listeners, please do. They're an amazing organization. They don't just do actors. Excuse me. They do everybody in the umbrella of the world of entertainment. The entertainment umbrella. The entertainment umbrella. 
I don't well, think I don't think I qualify for that. Sure, song. why not? What we're doing? I don't think I do. Oh, hopefully we're entertaining <laughs> somebody right now. I know. I what you would like to think? What you would like to think? <laughs> you would like to think so. I'm actually uh, posting right now on Facebook to let people know that we are here right now. Oh, sweet. Tag me. Um, congratulations, Tommy. You got that. You got that question correct. That well, I I thought so. You did. <laughs> Okay, I am. Uh, I'm. I'm rocking and rolling right now. You're rocking and rolling. Am I two uh, for two? Yeah. Right. Didn't we? Yeah, we only done two. Well, I'm going to do all all seven this time. Are you sure? Yeah, I did. I I didn't type them like you did, nerd. But I did write them a little bit more spatially. Spatially. Mm, sure. Ooh. I'll take that. Why not? Sure. <laughs> all right. Ready for question three? <laughs> hold on. Hold on. What? <laughs> I felt like Danny just now. Someone. Someone. Someone, someone. <laughs> we'll have to tell that story on a on a grab bag, on the grab bag. <laughs> Sometime that story was hilarious. Okay, all right, I'm ready. You ready? Yes. Question number three. Number three, 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 three. Name the conferencing service that schools and businesses cannot live without and has become a household name due to COVID nineteen. Zoom. Zoom. Yeah. Zoom. Yep. Correct. <laughs> correct. Um, I have actually have heard of Zoom before this pandemic, uh, mm-hmm. and so every, then everyone's now like you know uh, Rob's still working, so he has a thousand co- conference calls going on like at the moment. I'm actually on the other side of the house, so I can scream and not interrupt his business. Uh, but yeah, so like Zoom has become this. Like all my cousins, uh, there was like 17 of us last night that got on a Zoom. And as much as I love all of my family members, I had to get off. <laughs> it was too much for me. Was like, it too much? Too much going on? Yeah, like people are trying to have virtual <laughs> dance parties, but like people are chatting. I was like, I was, I yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue drinking my gin martini. I'm I'm all for that. I'm, do you? Uh, you mean yesterday? No, not no. Right now, no. Yeah, yes. Right. Easy, chief. easy, chief. He knows that it's you. Oh, hi, Chief. He misses you. We miss you. Um, um, I'm just going to post over on another page really quick so that we can let more more peeps know where we is. Okay. Where we um, is. So that was easy. Yeah. Uh, and Congratulations. Thank you. I don't have Zoom. I, I've used it before, but I don't have it in the studio. We have Skype. I think that's enough. Yeah. Well, Skype is fine one-on-one. Apparently, Zoom is where you want to do all that because you can get up to 500 people yeah. on one. You, you you just Brady bunch it basically, right? Brady bunch it for five hundred people. That's all. And then like, there's a green like your your TV screen turns green. That means it's your time to talk. I uh, again, I just went back to my martini. Wait, you have a specified time to talk? I think. Well, I don't. I'm sure there's different things that you can do it. But yeah, when I was with my seventeen <clears> of us <throat> last night. Each person their their uh their Brady bunch box would light up green, and then. And it was supposed to be that person's turn to talk, but nobody paid attention to it. People were just talking over each other. Yeah. Like, that's what people do, right? Generally. Yeah. And I had, like, so many good jokes. That's that what I'm saying. Got. They just talk over each other. That's just so, like, they just, yeah, they whenever just, somebody just, starts just, talking, yeah, they just talk over each other. E I E I O. Okay. So, right. so, so you weren't a, you're not a huge fan of the Zoom. No, I am. A, I'm a big, I, I mean, it's <clears> as long as there aren't too many boxes in the, in the, yeah, I say less is more. I agree. I I mean, yeah. I, I enjoy this where it's just kind of one on one. Um, maybe another person or two. No, I no. Don't get it twisted. I think Zoom is fantastic for like you know people who have to be you know for right now in business meetings and stuff. But it was just got a little bit annoying for me last night. But I love my family. Hi guys. I got the Brady <laughs> bunch. All right, the Are you stretchy ready? bunch. <laughs> <clears throat> I am Are ready. You ready? For you... question number four? Yeah, let's let's go into question number four. Okay. Question number four. Number four. Four, four, four. Who hosted live from your living room last night? From my living room? It is the show live from your living room. And the hint this is in lieu of iHeartRadio uh-huh. um concert that was supposed to be on last night. They ended up doing sort of what Rosie did. They ended up doing the same thing, and it was hosted by a massive, huge star last night, and it was called Live from Your Living Room. In lieu of... 